Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I teach Velocity Banking. So I had a lady come to me pretty frustrated today and her frustration was due to she had seen a video of mine last night and realized that she just got a personal loan from the bank for a trip that she wants to take to Hawaii. So she got a personal loan to cover some expenses plus pay off a couple of debts. Her loan is currently at an interest rate of 16.12% with payments being at $804.60 a month for five years. So when I spoke with her today, she says that she has a line of credit at 18.55% and she couldn't possibly see how it would be better to pay off this personal loan and put it into the line of credit instead. So guess what? This video is going to do just that. So in her first month, she will pay $361.30 towards her principal and $443.30 in interest to total a payment of $804.60. So in the second month, she'll pay $366.15 in principal and $438.45 in interest with a total of $804.60. That's what an amortized loan does for us. It gives us equal payments throughout the whole life of the term, right? But when you look at your amortized schedule, you will see that your principal has a different amount and your interest is a different amount every single month. So as you go through the loan, you are reducing the amount of interest you pay and you're increasing the amount of principal you pay with every single payment. Remember, the 16.12% that they charge over the life of the loan is front loaded. So that's why you see such a large interest payment at the beginning of the loan that sort of decreases as you go through the loan, okay? So in the 12th month, the end of the first year, she will have a payment of $418.42 going to principal $386.18 is now going to interest for again the total of the 80460. Okay? After this year, she will pay 48 more months and she will have paid a total of $15,276 in interest alone throughout the entire length of the loan. Now let's look at the line of credit. The line of credit is at 18.55%, so I see her concern with being confused about why in the world a lower percent rate on a loan would do better in a line that is a higher percent rate. So if we start with the same $33,000 that she's going to pay off this $33,000 loan with, she will do her income in and her expenses out. So her income currently stands at $4,438 and her total expenses are $1,910. Where did I get the $1,910? She gave me a list of her expenses. Now, in her expenses, she does not have rent or mortgage payments because she currently lives with her disabled mother. So the mother's home is where she's living. So in the $1,910, there is no rent or mortgage. This is just the living expenses that she incurs monthly, okay? So after her income goes in, her balance will be down to $28,562. Her expenses will come out throughout the month and then the interest at $511 for this first month. What was it over here? $443.30. And I know you're saying, Christy, hello, the interest is lower over here. Let's go with this, right? I know you are and it's okay. I want you to think that because what we're gonna talk about is the interest that I charged at 18.55% was on the top dollar, $33,000. The bank does an average daily balance, so they would be more likely to take the 33,000 and the 28,562 and kind of average that out. So the bank takes an average daily balance. I use the high balance to figure interest just to leave room for error, okay? So the interest will be a little less than the $511 for your first month. With all that added in, the balance is at $30,983. We're gonna do this again in month two. Her income of $4,438 is going to go in. Her expenses and interest, which is now 479, is going to come back out. 
The 479 is the 18.55% of 30,983. Remember, I used the high balance. So it's going to be a little less than 479. The balance then would be at 28,934. We're going to do the income in again in month three, expenses out, interest out. Month four, we're going to do the same thing. The same thing in five, month six, month seven, month eight, month nine, just that income in, expenses out. We're going to continue that until she gets to month 13. So does she continue on for 48 months here? Absolutely not. This loan is paid off in the 13th month. If you notice, the balance is $41.99. She puts in $41.99. She's at a zero balance, and now she's just doing her expenses in. The $19.10 in, $19.10 out, zero balance. Isn't that beautiful? How much interest did she pay on the life of this line of credit? $4,063. Hmm. What did she pay in the loan? $15,276 and nine cents. You tell me, which is better, a loan at a lower percentage rate or a line of credit? It's just math, people. It's just math. The bank offers these lines of credit. They're almost at every bank or credit union. You can find them. Yes, they want to sell you the loan because they make so much more money on it. But the line is available. And if your bank or credit union does not offer this to you, go find you a bank or credit union that does. You are in control. You just don't feel like you are because you weren't aware. You're aware now. I want you to be happy. I want you to make good decisions. I want you to stick all of this thrown away interest into your pocket. Keep your wealth. You can have your things. You can have your Hawaii trips, but save your wealth while you're doing it. If you are totally new to Velocity Banking, I have a new service that I'm offering that is just called a mini course. It's Velocity Banking Basics. If you want to learn the Velocity Banking Basics, the mini course just has videos in it of two to three minutes long, just explaining an absolute breakdown of what Velocity Banking is. I will be adding to that list monthly. So if you're new to Velocity Banking and you just want the basics, that is the package for you. And it's only $12.99. So if you don't understand Velocity Banking, please go purchase that playlist. Get the basics in your mind, then go out and do it. If you can know everything you need to do to save this kind of interest, $12.99 is all you need to get started. You don't have to pay financial advisors, financial coaches, anybody else to show you how to do your finances. These videos alone are free and they can help you. The mini course is just for those who want it broken down a little bit simpler so that they can understand it clearly, maybe better. But whatever you choose to do, please make good decisions before you take out loans and lines of credit. Make sure you have a strategy in your mind to get all of that in order so that you know what you're going to do and how much it's going to cost you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you all so much for reaching out. I try to answer your comments as often as possible. I love hearing what you have to say, and I appreciate so much your thankfulness, your kind words and thoughts. Thank you so much. I enjoy each and every one of you, and I want to see you live your best financial life. And you can do it. You can do it. It's not hard. I don't care what caused you to get into the mess that you're in. I don't even care if you take $30,000 vacations. I don't care what you do. All I know is you can do it better, and I want to show you how. I hope you guys have a terrific week, and God bless each and every one of you.